I'm Dave Brannan, an application engineer with Agilent. I'm going to show you three ways to control the 34980. But first, let's look at the equipment I have here. I have a 34980 switch control unit with a MUX card installed. Connected to the MUX card is a terminal block, just like this one, wired to a thermocouple, J-type. The 34980 is then attached to the laptop with a LAN cable. That'll be useful when we talk to the 34980 over LAN. To control the 34980 from the front panel, we do two things. We simply configure a channel, and then we measure the channel. First, we hit configure for the channel. We'll select temperature, thermocouple, J type, temperature check or thermocouple check off. We're going to use an internal temperature reference, and the rest we will select the defaults. At this point, we can name the channel, which I've already done as a J-type TC. Now the temperature channel is configured. To make a measurement, we simply hit the temperature key, the channel key. It is now measuring the temperature. Notice when I grab hold of the thermocouple, it goes up. Or when I put it in an ice bath, it drops. The next step is to program the 34980 via the web user interface. To control the 34980 via the web UI, we'll use a browser. We can open up a browser and put in the web address, in this case 169.254.9.80. When we open up this web page, you'll notice we can either observe only or we can get full control of the module. If we go to the same channel we used during the front panel, left click on it, we'll get a dialog box which has the same parameters that we put in via the front panel. We can now monitor that channel. And notice we start getting temperature readings as well. Again, if I hold the thermocouple in my hand, it gets warmer. And if I put the thermocouple in the ice bath, it gets much cooler. That's how easy it is to monitor channels via the web. The third method of controlling the 34980, which I'd like to show you, is using Command Expert, which is a programming tool often used to program Skippy commands in other programming languages. The first step is to connect to the 34980, which I have done here. You'll notice this is connected. Then we can start programming Skippy commands in the next window. In order to program temperature, first thing we need to do is select the unit, which I'll do that here by pressing unit and temperature. We can come over to this window, select F for Fahrenheit, and then we need to enter the channel, which in this case is channel 002. We'll then perform that and notice we got a good result. Again, we got a check mark. In order to make a temperature measurement, we have to first read the temperature reference. To do that, we'll use the sense command. We'll use sense and temperature, transducer, thermocouple, junction. Select the right kind of junction, which in this case is internal. And again, put in the channel number so it knows what channel to use that measurement with. Hit perform we've now read the temperature reference. Finally, we can measure temperature by using the measure command. Measure, scalar, temperature. We need to select probe type, thermocouple in this case, J type. The rest will select default for range and resolution. Channel list. Again, we want to measure on channel two. Perform, and now we'll get a measurement. If you read, run this again by hitting the run key, and I hold the thermocouple, you'll notice the temperature changes. Or if I put the thermocouple in the ice bath, 
again, the temperature drops. So I've shown you three ways to control the 34980 using the front panel, through the built-in web interface, and through Command Expert. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.